Hi, I'm Matt Weil. I'm the Director of Offering Management for Vertiv. Well, what we're really seeing from our customers and across the industry is an increasing need for agility, flexibility, um, and, cap and, and simplification of how they deploy capital. Um, and, and what we see is the data centers now are not being built like the uh, unique snowflakes that they have been in the past. Um, there's standard topologies, there's mature ecosystems in how those data centers are built. And, and data center operators and customers of those data centers want only enough capacity that they need at that given point in time. They want to match their capacity to demand. And they want the value that comes with having the flexibility of deploying just enough capacity today versus having to overbuild or future-proof something that may be five, 10 years off in the future. Yeah, I, I think we see it across all different sizes. I think there are different ways to do modularity. Funda fundamentally, modularity just means building blocks, right? So it's not that you are uh, have a one-size-fits-all approach with a container. Um, it's that you're selecting the right building blocks that you can put those together in a flexible way to deliver the right solution at the right time and at the right price point. Standardization does not mean going necessarily with a single vendor. I think what it does mean is you'll see some normalization of various types of topologies and architectures um, that will lend themselves to being able to simplify how data centers are designed and built. I think it's really about mitigating risk more so than cost. You're deploying the capacity that you need today and you're not stranding capital or cost um, in a way that maybe doesn't match your growth curve. Um, so, the, you know, the, uh, if I need a megawatt today, I deploy a megawatt today versus planning for five or 10 megawatts and then not fulfilling that capacity. So it's almost about cost avoidance or just-in-time capital deployment, less so than about kind of the first cost savings. That's really the, um, the, what we've seen from the industry. Um, and it's not all about uh, sort of that first cost, it's about the total life cycle costs of those facilities. I think so, there's, there's a significant component of operational risk mitigation as well. When you talk about something being normalized across a significant part of the industry uh, or across a particular business, if I've got 100 sites and each one of them looks very, very different, that's a challenge for my, uh, my workforce to be able to go in and manage that environment versus if I've got harmonized systems, uh, normalized building blocks that I'm using across my entire facility footprint, uh, that makes it much easier from an operational standpoint and mitigates the risk of and, and possible downtime of, of managing and maintaining a facility. For us, we like to make the distinction as well between prefabricated and modular. They are often related, uh, but they're not necessarily uh, the same thing. I think people sometimes conflate them as prefabricated is modular uh, or modular is pre prefabricated, but they refer to very different elements, of course. So prefabricated refers to uh, the, the practice of building some or all of a facility off-site in a factory and controlled environment, whereas modular just goes back to that idea of building blocks. You're building at something that's a lowest common denominator to be able to assemble those in a flexible, uh, uh, capital efficient way. Um, where we find the biggest bang for the buck, of course, is when you put the two together. You get the benefits of rapid deployment with prefabrication and you get the flexibility and, and uh, uh, ease of use uh, that, that comes with modularity. It's, it's still a rel relatively small um, fraction of, of data centers and I think the part of that is working through uh, the legacy footprint, right? So there's a huge legacy data, data center footprint out there that was not built in a prefabricated or modular way. Um, where I think you see a lot of the investment today, uh, even if operators don't ultimately go forward with it, they're definitely considering it and they're thinking about it as a model for how they deploy in the future. And it may be just that the um, there right, aren't the right ecosystem partners out there yet. Um, we believe there are. We believe there are the right ecosystem partners out there that can deploy prefabricated modular for any type of customer anywhere in the world. Um, but that's part of the evaluation process. And, and I expect to continue to see that gaining popularity um, throughout the industry. Uh, and it's not that 
uh, you would build necessarily the entire facility out of uh, containers or building blocks, but uh, customers are considering elements of that facil facility, and in particular the critical elements, uh, building those in a prefabricated modular way. It's great. This is my first time here. Um, very excited. It's a nice. Uh, it's a nice uh, setup, you know, with with the different levels. I think that's a function of the venue, but met a lot of great people. Um, it's a lot of great exhibitors here. A lot of great sessions as well. So it's been it's been uh, very very good for me so far. I think again, it's it's the sessions that you uh, sit through, you get to think about, and then you get to talk about with with various different folks, whether they're peers from your own company, uh, contacts that you've known uh, in the industry or they're entirely new people you've met. You, you get to say, hey, were you sitting in that session? You know, here's what I think about it, or here's why I don't believe them, or here's why I think they're spot on. So um, I think it's a great uh, forum for that type of exchange.